Hello everyone, this is Kikoto Mani from Team Get Wrecked Robotics, as well as a member of Team WPI. This is my event report going over how Birdstrike performed at a September 2025 WPI Plastic Antweight competition. For those who don't know, Birdstrike is my Plastic Antweight Gyrowalker. Inspired by bots like Droopy, it doesn't have wheels and instead it uses the gyro from its large spinning blades to allow it to move. Because Birdstrike uses non-traditional locomotion, it gets a walker weight bonus allowing it to weigh 1.25 pounds instead of just 1 pound. The format for this event would involve every bot getting two qualifying matches, where the bots that performed the best would be put into a single elimination bracket, and from there they would fight it out until only one bot remains as the winner. Birdstrike's first qualifying match would be against a vertical spinner named Oliver 2. The only real strategy for this fight was to keep the weapon spinning and hopefully catch one of Oliver's sides. Now let's get into the fight. Three, two, one, fight robots, fight! <laughs> Well, that was a fun match, even if it didn't end too well. Things went downhill pretty quickly when one of my blades just flew off. My weapon blades are just press fit onto the Brussels motors, and usually this is fine, but I guess the shock from the weapon hitting the floor was enough to loosen it, which led to the entire blade coming off. Fortunately, I was still able to move even with just one weapon blade, and I was able to put up a good fight against Oliver too. But eventually, Birdstrike hits the floor yet again with his remaining weapon, which led to it bouncing off the ground and ricocheting into the wall. This abuse was too much for my last weapon motor, which caused it to smoke out and kill the weapon. With both spinners dead, Birdstrike was down for the count and I lost the match. My second qualifying match would be against a one-wheeled horizontal spinner named Sendit, who is Birdstrike's greatest rival. Birdstrike and Sendit have fought each other three different times, with Birdstrike winning twice and one of those matches ending in a double KO. However, Sendit definitely isn't a pushover. With its unique design and unpredictable attack pattern, there's a high possibility that it could end the match in one good hit. Can Birdstrike beat its greatest opponent once again? Let's find out now. Fight robots, fight! Now that was certainly an interesting match. You probably noticed that I was having issues spinning up my right weapon blade, and I'm not entirely sure why. This meant I had to rely on my left one in order to be able to move. Meanwhile, Senate's having its own issues as his weapon blade starts to break apart. Despite our respective problems, we are able to make contact a few times and eventually Senate ends up stuck in the corner. Senate is given its one free unstick that every bot at the competition is allowed, but when we resume the match, it is revealed that Senate is completely dead. With its opponent no longer functional, Birdstrike wins that match and as a result qualifies for the single elimination bracket at 1-1. One one. Birdstrike's first match in the bracket would be a very interesting one, as I would be facing off against Subscript, a robot inspired by big wheel bots like Huge. Since there is basically no way for me to reach the body, 
My plan was just to attack the foam wheels and cause as much damage to them as possible. Theoretically, if I could rip apart those wheels, I would win the match. Can Birchrike take down this giant? Let's find out now. Hey. Hey. That has never happened before. Graham, when UHMW doesn't It's great. It's motor smoke, keep going. Come on, get up, buddy. Uh, <laughs> it's motor smoke. That's, That's it. Well, I may not have won, but this fight sure was a lot of fun. Once again, I was having issues spinning up one of my weapons, but this did not stop me from putting up a good fight. For the most part, things were going according to plan, as I was able to get several good hits in on Subscript's wheels and do decent damage to them. In fact, eventually part of one of Subscript's damaged wheels would get sucked into its own weapon system and jam up the gears. This effectively disabled Subscript's spinner, which is a huge advantage for me. Needless to say, at this point, Burst Strike was ahead and seemed very likely to win the match. But unfortunately, Subscript managed to run over Burst Strike in such a way that he flipped the bot over. Theoretically, Burst Strike should still be able to move while upside down, but not only did Subscript dance my self-riding fin earlier in the match, but my motors seemed to finally reach their limit, and while trying to spin the blades in an attempt to move, they started to smoke. I tried my best to get moving, but Burst Strike just couldn't escape the countdown and lost the match. With this loss, Burst Strike was out of competition, but I'm at least happy I had such an amazing match against Subscript, the builder of which was kind of giving me a damaged wheel as a trophy. And that marks the end of Burst Strike's time at this event. Uh, thanks for watching up to this point. Um, taking a look at some of the damage here, you can see the uh, the Mohawk, uh, the self-writing thing uh, is kind of broken. That was mostly Subscript, unsurprisingly. Uh, that weapon does have a decent amount of power behind it, so, you know, that's damaged. Um, the weapon blade and motor is starting to pull out of the screws from the body, so that's not good either. Also, this motor, I'm pretty sure it is one of the motors that smoked out in the fight against Subscript, so it's probably broken. Uh, on this side, this weapon tube is kind of chipped a little bit. Also, this part of the body is also starting to crack. So, yeah, Burst Strike had a little bit of a rough time, but it's still mostly in one piece. Um... Uh, speaking of uh, how it did this event, uh, you're probably wondering why this is the only time I've ever given Bird Strike its own dedicated event report. I've only ever given it uh, highlight videos, kind of just showing off the individual fights. And that's mostly because uh, with Bird Strike, there just isn't usually a lot to talk about in terms of how it does at events. Uh, usually there's no real strategy aside from just spin up the blades and uh, hit things and see what happens. And so that's why I've never really felt the need to give it an event report video because there just isn't a lot of uh, substance to talk about there. Um, as for why I'm giving an event report video now, uh, it's very simple that uh, I do have something to talk about here. And that's the fact that this is uh, Burst Strike's last ever event. I've decided that um, after a few years of fighting, it's time to shelf it and just put into retirement. Uh, there's a few reasons why. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm retiring Bird Strike is that it kind of just, uh, it, it breaks too many things. Like pretty much every other fight, it, it either breaks his weapon motors 
or melts its batteries or its ECs get too hot. And it's just getting a little too expensive mm -hmm. to continuously run this all the time. It, it pretty much breaks something every other time it fights. But even if it wasn't for that, even if I could, um, you know, upgrade the bot to make it more optimized, and maybe I'll do that in the future someday, even if I could do that, I kind of just want to try something different. I love Bird Strike, I really do, but uh, it's been my plastic ant weight for a long, long time, a couple of years now. And even though it's fun to fight with, I think I just want to try something a little bit different. Uh, so yeah, I really do love Bird Strike, and maybe this won't be the absolute end. Bird Strike may come back someday, maybe if I give it like a full redesign to fix all of its inherent issues. I never want to say it's uh, permanently gone. The bot may come back someday in the future. I just don't know when. But at least for the, for the uh, foreseeable future, uh, Bird Strike is kind of done fighting for now. It's definitely just going into retirement. Uh, and um, I will always love Bird Strike uh, for what it is. It's just a dumb little uh, damaging big double-bladed gyro walker that either breaks itself or the opponent or both. And it'll always be fun for that. So yeah, I will always love Bird Strike. Always be one of my favorite robots, but I think it's finally time to say goodbye, at least for now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for this video, except I do, I will be having a highlight video in a few seconds going over some of Bird Strike's best moments. But yeah, Bird Strike, uh, it's a robot I will never forget. And again, it may come back sometime in the future, but at least for now, this will be Bird Strike's last ever event. Out uh, to everyone who has loved this bot over the years, I really appreciate it. It really means a lot. And Bird Strike loves you too. Thank you.